Okay, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. And I, at this point, man, it's becoming almost surprising how many people are making this mistake over and over and over and over again, but I don't even know if I should call it a mistake because at this point it seems like they're just calculated decisions to say this. It's not like it just slips out on stream or anything like that. And for some reason there's been almost like this renaissance of Twitch girls uh, in recent months and years who for some reason think that they're entitled to people's money simply because they watch them on Twitch. First and foremost, shameless plug, if you're watching anyone on Twitch, it should be sub to Optimus here. Link on screen. As someone who's recently started streaming, I think that I'm more inside of a streamer's mentality than I've ever been before, right? Where, you know, I've done sporadic live streams here and there. So I understand that it's like fundamental, basically, that they get subscriptions and donations and things like that in order to make a living because obviously streamers, they make money by doing that. And, you know, I get it. I understand the mentality to a certain extent. What I don't understand is shaming people for not giving you money and basically belittling them because instead of directly giving you money, they just, you know, support your channel, maybe share links to it, bringing in the uh, new viewers and stuff that you desperately need to keep growing, watching the advertisements on your channel so you do actually generate money from these people who aren't donating from you. That's the mentality I don't understand now. So we're, we're going to go ahead and just dive into it. It's not like I need to uh, bring this out any further than it's already going to be because uh, once again, I'm going to have plenty to say. So here's the deal. It doesn't really matter how much money you make or how much money you have. That's really the thing because I'm not asking you for a large financial contribution. If it costs $20 to sub, $20 is quite a bit of money. $20 is you can get a full meal for $20. And the difference of $20 and eating a meal is in that $20. Like, that's where it is. Okay, so what reality do you live in again? I mean, $20 for a full meal for one person? Where are you eating? I can make a full meal at home that lasts for three or four days with, like, $8. If you truly think that $20 for a meal is, like, reasonable for every single day of your life, then you probably are doing fine and you don't need for everybody to be giving you $5. Like, come on, man. But a sub is $5. At maximum, in whatever your currency is, it's maybe $10. And it doesn't matter how broke you are, if you have time to watch Twitch, you have you have $10, truly. If you don't have $10, you probably don't have time to watch Twitch because you should be working, you should be trying to earn money. Okay, and this is the weird thing. With all of these situations, this is almost like a common phrase that you hear. It's not even that much money. It's only $5. How do you not have $5? While at the same time, their job is literally asking people to give them $5 on the internet. This is like that, that crackhead that lives outside of the gas station. And like you're walking in to get a Gatorade and maybe, I don't know, a little bag of chips or something to just go along with the day. And he asks you for uh, $5 and, and you don't have $5 to give him because you're about to go get yourself something in there. And then he goes, oh, you broke motherfucker. Like that's, that's what I can really attribute this kind of mentality to. Like the lack of self-awareness is just mind boggling to me because in, in the same breath, she tells you that. If you don't have this $5 that's being completely talked about in this situation that you shouldn't be doing Twitch, you shouldn't be watching Twitch, and that you should be out working somewhere, what you fail to realize that the same mentality can be handed right back into your own lap. That hot potato can be thrown back at you because if you have time to be sitting on Twitch and begging people for money and you're not getting it and you're belittling them for that shit, then you have time to go work at McDonald's or literally anywhere. You can go work in JCPenney. You can go work at a factory. You can go, I don't know, do something. It's not a lack of time that's the issue. It's either one, people can't really afford to donate because let's be honest, the vast majority of Americans before this entire financial crisis that struck the world was already living paycheck to paycheck. Most people don't just have money to fucking throw around at whatever they want. Most people don't have that opportunity. And for you to shame people for that is kind of ridiculous. Or it comes down to them simply not wanting to. You know, people are allowed to not want to give you money. People are allowed to not want to give you something. If people want to watch my streams on Twitch and not sub, that's fine. If they don't want to cheer with bits or donate, that's fine. If people want to watch my YouTube videos with ad block on or without buying a channel membership, that's completely acceptable. Like the mentality that you're owed something simply because you pressed a button to live stream and you're showing yourself sitting around a bunch of fucking plushies with the basic visco girl lights on in the background is completely bewildering to me. Like where, what did your parents teach you as a kid? Uh, it's not a ton. It's not like a ton of money. So being like, I'm broke, I can't afford to sub, it, that doesn't really track. What you mean to say is, I'm so irresponsible with my money, I can't support the entertainment that I enjoy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, you're simply just stupid. 
I, I don't know how this has to be explained to you, considering this is the quote-unquote career path you've chosen. I can't imagine that you actually make a living doing this because you're so completely out there and just ridiculous that I would find it impossible to ever want to give you money. But there are people who are too broke to sub. Like, you do know what's going on outside of your house right now. Like, I mean, from what I can see here, you completely lack any actual experience outside of yourself and what goes on in your in your room here. But there's kind of a global financial crisis going on due to this whole, you know, COVID-19 thing. The amount of Americans who have filed joblessness claims and unemployment within the last, like, four to five weeks since there was a national emergency declared is almost a tenth of the entire country's population. So, yeah, people can't just afford to fucking throw you money at your discretion. Even before this was going on, people couldn't do that. And you keep acting like they're not supporting your content if they don't directly give you $5 every single month or donate or anything like that. Do you not run advertisements on your channel? Them taking that three-minute ad break that you're putting in every, what, 30, 40, however minutes, I don't know, it depends obviously on the streamer, but them sitting through that ad break and watching those ads generates you money. So they are supporting your content. They're just not giving you money hand over fist because you're a girl on the internet streaming. If I want to go see a movie but I can't afford to pay for the ticket, I mean, you can just download it. You don't have to sub, you can just watch without supporting it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, no, the difference between that and once again, I, I feel... I feel ridiculous even having to explain this to you is that it's very illegal to pirate that kind of content. It's against the law to watch a, a movie without paying for it in some way. Unless you have some sort of discretion or something from the company, like they give you permission or whatever. Yeah, if you just go on the Pirate Bay and download a movie and watch it, yeah, that's called piracy and it's against the law. So you, you can't just go do that and it be on the same level as Twitch because you choose to make your content free. You choose to give people the option to watch it without directly giving you money. That was your choice. It's not the choice of anyone but yourself. But if you, if you can't afford to go see the movie in theaters, then you can't afford to go see the movie in theaters. It costs the same even if you're paying in a different currency. Oh. I'm unemployed, so basically all my money goes to bills and food, or I would support you. Mm hmm Yeah. You can tell she really wanted to say something different to this poor fella or miss who, uh, unfortunately is already struggling as is. Because it's just simply how entitled she is. She thinks that she is owed something because she simply exists on a platform where millions of other people exist. And the odd, the odd uh, little comparison you're making between, for some reason, movie theaters and Twitch is insane to me, considering the fact when you go to the movie theater, you know for a fact you're giving money. You're not just going to get in for free unless you break the law. You're, you're sneaking through a fire exit or something like that. Your boy holds the door open. If you're not doing that, you're paying money, and you're paying ridiculous money most of the time. Like, some, some tickets in theaters go up to like $20 a person if you're an adult. I don't get on Twitch to have a personal experience. I get on there to just watch some content when I'm laying down for bed or when I'm streaming, something like that, right? I, I don't get on there for anything else. You are not owed anything like a movie theater. And the big difference between you and movie theaters is you run advertisements on your free content. The movie theater, they charge an entry fee to see the movie. And even then, almost all of the ticket admission actually goes back to the company that made the film. It doesn't go straight to the movie theater. They make their money off concessions and the little advertisements that they basically sell to companies before the movie, the little 15 minutes of movie trailers and other advertisements and things. I, I don't understand how you are just so completely blinded to what reality is. It's $5. It's really, like, you're never, you're not gonna, you're, no one's gonna convince me that what I'm saying is so rude or so unacceptable or so outrageous. It just simply isn't. It's just, it's $5. It doesn't cost you that much to sub. And... It's very, very wonderful because it allows streamers to continue supporting their communities with content. That's all. Yeah, that's a really good mentality to have. Nobody can ever tell me that I'm wrong. Nobody can ever present an argument that would change my opinion. It is impossible for me to think differently than what I think now. I'm, I'm, I'm so glued up in the head that only one argument will ever make sense to me. And regardless of anything presented to me, I'll never think differently. Like, yeah, you sound like a really intelligent human being. And if it's just $5, why don't you, I don't know, stop complaining about it. Like, at the same time that you're trying to, like, stand up and be like, I need that $5. You're, you're supposed to be supporting my content. You then downplay the value of how much they're actually giving you. So you present, like, this weird dynamic, this conundrum, where at the same time you're essentially begging for this money, like you need it that badly, that you have to go on this kind of tirade. But then at the same time you're like, well, it's only $5. You can't take a $5 loss. 
You can't. It's impossible because if you can't take a $5 loss, if that's going to make or break your profit margin, maybe streaming on Twitch isn't for you. And maybe, yeah, you should probably go get a job like all those poor people who are filing unemployment right now because the world's in a complete shit spot. Maybe that's what you should be doing, huh? That's so toxic, especially when people are losing their jobs. It really isn't. It, it really isn't toxic to ask for subs when you're streaming. And if you believe it is, then I imagine that you simply don't understand how this platform works. No, uh, if you really enjoyed doing it, you would have, you would do it for free, you know? You wouldn't have to, like, beg out like this and, like, make it out as if it's, like, a moral issue. And people are gonna try and bring this back up to me, like, well, you should be doing YouTube for free. Well, I, I did for six years. That, that's the difference. I, I did YouTube for free for five and a half to six years. Didn't expect a dime from it. Didn't expect anything. So there's a difference between actually earning the position you're in and then just basically trying to morally kind of aggrandize in a way, you know what I mean? Yeah, the only big difference there, and I would say this is the key difference, is you're not just asking for sub. You didn't ask. You didn't say, hey guys, if you don't mind, if you got a couple extra bucks laying around, throw a sub up or, you know, donate in some way, help support the content. You, you didn't do that. That's that's a very nice way of asking, I would say. Basically, what you did is you tried to make a moral, like a morality difference between you and people who can't afford to donate to you or just choose not to. You basically tried to shame people into donating. You tried to almost force their hand in a way by making it out as if they're a bad person if they don't give you money. And you simply don't understand how this platform works if you think that, you know, we go without subs. Well, that, I mean, that's weird to me because this is also coming from the person who apparently doesn't know that running ads on their channel also generates revenue and bits and other things exist. So it's pretty weird for you to say you don't, that no one else understands how the platform works if they disagree with you, while at the same time completely lacking any fundamental understanding of anything else except gimme money. And I encourage you to get more perspective. It's odd that you're asking people to get more perspective considering the position that you're in. How many people do you have a paid sub for? How many people do I sub to? Um, one. I sub to one person, they're my friend IRL. They are a very, very, very small streamer and they deserve my sub every single month. And then other than that, I don't sub to anybody else myself. The level of fucking irony and hypocrisy and, and she, I don't think she even realizes it. That's what's funny. Like, I think she's so blind to what she, like, she doesn't listen to what's coming out of her mouth. She doesn't even realize. You're telling me she only watches her friend's stream, that's it? There's, there's no one else on the platform that she's now not supporting when she watches? Twitch.tv slash sub to Optimus. I'll be streaming again tonight at about 8 o'clock Eastern. And the sad thing is, is after she said this, she was completely flooded with subscriptions compared to what she usually has. I mean, a, a, according to the corner up there, she has a handful, you know, a couple dozen. She was basically getting them left and right after this. So I, I can't imagine the simps that were just handing her money for simply existing and shaming them. I just want everyone here to picture that that's their life. That that, like, you let someone do that to you. With that being said, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on my channel, follow me over on Twitter at Subdoptimus. The channel's been doing pretty nuts recently, uh, I'll just take the time to say it now, so I definitely appreciate the fact that you guys are enjoying the content, and if you're new around here, you guys are sticking around and watching videos, it's pretty cool. I just gotta say though, if you're a real fan, I need that five a month, man. You're not a fan if you're not, you're a bad person. No, but on a real note, uh, if you do want to support the content in a more direct way, obviously channel memberships, uh, there's a shop opti down below for merch. You get a physical product, obviously. Make sure to go check out Optube. Uh, the forums are there. You can upload content and stuff there as well. Thank you to my channel members. Your support helps my channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus, just lacking perspective on how Twitch works and signing out.